Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries, and it is Sunday, September 5th, 2021. And this is being made in collaboration with One Foot and 5D and Space Force News that airs every Sunday night. Check it out if you aren't already subscribed. <laughs> we are currently in a waning crescent moon in the sign of Leo. We're having a new moon on Tuesday in the sign of Virgo. We have had smaller ejections from the sun the last, I would say, last basically this month since it, September has started. I saw the most on the second, which usually means three days of travel. So we're in that window now. I'm also seeing a little bit of ejection from today and yesterday, but not as big. Today though, there's some development. So by tonight, it may have been more, it may be more obvious. So just keep track of that. Spaceweather.com is letting us know that the sixth or tomorrow on Monday, they're expecting more solar wind to land. Um, my friends and I watching these solar flares have been watching the X-ray radiation kind of dropping off or missing like so, this little valley right here over the last few days. And I'm seeing it on multiple different resources. There's this diving behavior, which has been interesting for those of you really watching. That is some concerns that we've been raising this week. The solar wind or the plasma, I guess, plasma density that's going to be coming towards Earth is going to increase from the fifth into the sixth. It looks like with the predictive models, we're also seeing um, quite a bit of stuff still approaching so yeah i guess the sixth is still looking like there's going to be more on monday and this giant section of activity here on the sun that's currently rotating towards us is very interesting to me keep your eyes open we could be getting solar flares this week we've been seeing a depression i would say since september started in the data there's been less than lately and now it looks like this this may be what is going to kick it up a notch this coming week. Most of us feel like there needs to be a break. There needs to be some energy surging in. But so far, we're seeing a lot of normalcy and then some missing data when it comes to x-rays, which you don't really want to misplace x-rays. They're pretty intense. I'm seeing, again, a lot of shifting going on with the solar wind and the solar polarity and the temperature and so on from the third and the fourth into the fifth. This is where people have been complaining the most. To me, this last week has been the last three days. So here's a little evidence of some jumping around. The Schumann resonance isn't giving us any more hints as well. It looks very robotic, looks like it's being managed. If this is truly the data, I always say that, you know, the these vertical lines here in the background, those aren't normal. They just kind of come and go and they look like they're regulating for the frequencies a lot. And I'm observing that that it looks like that's what's happening. When you see a lot of horizontal lines on here, it's a little bit too um, specific for nature is what I'm understanding. But the amplitudes are fairly low in Russia and as well as Italy. We're seeing some, but it's still very low, though it may increase as this week moves on. I have that is all the evidence I've been able to gather. Also, there's worldwide tremors going on, which is another indication of some pressure coming in and things shifting and maybe being uncomfortable on the global level. So just follow along with that if that's your interest and I will be seeing you next week. Thank you again so much. Goodbye everyone.